coach and Mani Kagashi. We are conducting this interview on behalf of Ved Pune. I am Ketki Zoshi. Congratulations for bagging the coveted Platinum Award at National Science Fair at Canada. What are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling absolutely amazing. Uh, it was a wonderful experience and it feels really good to be the very first Indian girl to ever win the award. And it was also really great to have my uh, work put in the spotlight and my research uh, in the spotlight. What inspired you at the age of 13 to think about Alzheimer, which is a neural disorder? Uh, last year, my grandfather passed away after suffering for years from Alzheimer's disease. So I, w I decided to research more about Alzheimer's disease as well as potential cures. And after doing a lot of research, I came across two very promising experimental agents. Their names were alpha lipoic acid and melatonin. And what makes these agents special is that they possess the rare ability to be able to breach the blood-brain barrier, as well as inhibit amyloid beta peptide fibril formation in the brain. And these fibrils actually disrupt communication between nerve cells and characterize Alzheimer's disease. Uh, but my grandfather also suffered from very severe cardiac and gastrointestinal tract issues, so he had to be very careful about what medications he took. However, the cardiac and gastrointestinal biosafety of the two agents is still to this day unpublished. And I realized this would have been a very big concern to my grandfather as well as many other seniors. So I decided to undertake the very first controlled study to uncover the cardiac and gastrointestinal biosafety of the two drugs. It seems that science is imbibed in you since your childhood. You developed a new antibiotic based on Indian herb last year. Which herbs did you research on to get this antibiotic? Uh, I did research on several different herbs, uh, including cinnamon, sandalwood, oregano, neem, clove, uh, tulsi, turmeric, lots of different herbs. Uh, but in the end, I only ended up using a sp select few herbs, um, which included turmeric, uh, cinnamon, sandalwood, and neem and tulsi. And I did some experiments to prove the antibacterial efficacy of these few herbs, as well as the gastrointestinal safety, so whether or not they're safe for the stomach. And by doing these experimentation, I was able to eliminate certain herbs um, based off of that. So in the end, I ended up creating, I guess what could be called a smart antibiotic, because it is able to specifically target between the harmful and the helpful bacteria, and is still safe for the stomach. Tell us more about your research. What were the obstacles in your way? Um, in terms of obstacles, um, there were many, many of them along the way. Uh, for example, I was trying to get a lab which I could work in uh, to do all of my experiments. Except I talked to many different university professors and they all said, no, come back when you're a bit older. So I had to actually do all of my experiments in my basement. So I actually created a bit of a lab inside of my basement by getting materials from uh, different science stores and borrowing it from different high schools. So that was probably my, um, my biggest obstacle along the way. How did you manage your research and study simultaneously? What is your academic career? Uh, it's actually quite difficult to balance both. And basically, when I'm doing research, I just end up decreasing the amount of sleep I get every day. <laughs> um, and which I realize isn't the best thing to do, but... Um, so yeah, it's quite difficult because I am in the gifted program um, at, in Canada, which is a bit of a more academically challenging, so I have lots and lots of homework to do, um, as well as uh, science research. Uh, my academic career, I'd say, is pretty good. Uh, I've had the top average in my class uh, for all of my years of study, so yeah, I think my academic career is quite going quite well. You are appointed to serve on Education Minister's Student Advisory Council. What role are you going to perform? On the Education Minister's Student Advisory Council, our job is to advise the Education Minister about how to make the, uh, the school system the best in the world in Canada. So um, that will be things like tackling bullying, uh, improving the uh, curriculum for to be specifically tailored for every student, and things like that. What is your idea of Youth Rise? Youth Rise is a new uh, no global non-profit organization that I'm starting. And what it will do is it will connect students in India to students in countries like Canada, 
and the United States via a telepresence link. So uh, basically, they'll be able to see each other in real time using a new video conferencing technology. And things that will be discussed are um, things like cultural differences, so how, how different is life halfway around the world, as well as um, other similar differences. Um, also, a new program that I'm starting as a part of YouthWise is to tackle some of the bigger issues, such as the environment and climate change, which are issues that these students will soon be inheriting. Thank you very much for pro providing valuable information about your research. Um, you're welcome. It was a true pleasure to be talking with you guys.